<laughs> yeah, what is up, Explorers? <laughs> I just want to say really quick that we just filmed a food video on Cody's channel already. So if you want to check out his side of the food, you can see how we're already full. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're already. You can see why we're pretty much full, yeah. and uh, we're about to start another one. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty rough. Um, so this is our last video in Norway, and I just want to say thanks for the support and thanks for watching. Um, and yeah, we're just super tired. <laughs> and burnt out. I'm not even kidding. I'm. I mean, we are so burnt out that it's really it's getting hard to film because we just need a break. Hence this video. Yeah, yeah. This is it. <laughs> we're ending it with a bang. We're gonna yeah, get fat before we get home. And we're also shooting this at about 11 or 12 at night, right? Yeah, now. yeah, yeah, this is it. This is the last video. I mean, this is cool of the Norway series. I really did like it. And we actually ended it here in Oslo. Mind you, I just want to say Oslo is probably the perfect city where I would, I, would, I really want to live in. Like, I really like it, but only in the summer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, definitely. For like a month and a half. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's it. But it really is the perfect. Like, I don't want to get too much into it. I just want to get with the food. Now, we got the brown cheese. We got... Caviar. We yeah. got some kind of jellyfish thing. Like, look at that. <clears throat> that does not look good. It, it, yeah, <clears throat> it really doesn't look good. And I don't know what this is, but everyone gets it. So I had to get it too. It looks like it says liver. Yeah. Oh, um, wow. And if you're wondering, like, how did we even like come up with all these Norwegian foods? It's because we bug people in the supermarket. <laughs> we literally say, hey, hey, is this Norwegian? Is this Norwegian? And yeah. they, and people just helped us to make all this to gather up a list. Yeah, literally yesterday we asked this guy, and he showed, he walked us around the whole store. And he like took things out of our cart that were like Swedish, and like put other things in. So <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, we did it. I think I think we should just start off with, with it with the brown bears. These guys. Okay. I mean, I. I we have, we just gotta, we gotta do it. <laughs> what are they called? Brown, yeah, what are they called? Bams, Bamsy Mums. Yeah, real quick. Bamsy Mums. Bamsy Mums. <laughs> Sounds British. I think, oh, I think I'm already feeling it. And it, you know, it does look like a bear, but it feels like it's like a marshmallow inside. Mind you, he's allergic to peanuts. So something he might not eat here. Cause we don't want yeah, him dying before he gets home. His mom's gonna kill me. May contain traces of nuts and almonds. Are you, but that's not peanuts. Oh no, it's, it literally, yeah, it feels like a marshmallow. Yeah. Okay, bottoms up. If I die, I die here. Oh, it is, it's like a chocolate marshmallow. We can stretch them. That's actually really good. Uh, Yo, did you get some of those Bamsy Mums? <laughs> mm. I feel like they, should, they have these in England. Probably. That's good. They're all about their chocolate and marshmallows in England. Yeah. This is good, this is good. We're on a good... I feel like I could only eat like two of those. They're so sweet. Well, also we just had so much candy before this video. True. So maybe that's why. But I couldn't see anyone finishing that whole bag. Yeah, maybe. Um, well, I wanted to eat this right away because it's been bothering me because I've been seeing it everywhere. This right here. It's like a pastry. Like, yeah, some sort of pastry, but everyone <clears throat> is eating this pastry. Lefsigod, is that how you say it? Lefsigod. Okay, yeah, he, he's better at me than this. I, I, mean, I, I don't know if that was good, yeah. but... <laughs> Let's get into it, man. We can each have a bite. Right here. Oh my god, it's it like looks a, like a panini. Yeah, it's like a panini. It's But there's like cream cheese in it or something. Some sort of cream sauce is in these things. And... Oh, it's a cinnamon! Oh, it smells... It looks like a toaster strudel! Yeah, yeah! It's like a cinnamon toaster strudel! Or a Pop-Tart! Yeah! Yeah, it is good. I mean, it tastes like a toaster strudel that's like uncooked. Yeah, <laughs> Un uncooked toaster strudel, exactly. And you know what? Or just a really plain top mm. pop tart. Yeah, but better than a pop tart. I mean, this is like legit, like some sort of like cream cheese, cinnamon, uh, almost like a cinnamon bun that's uncooked. Good. Yeah, these are really good. Let's say, let's say, got the. We gotta get more of these. Yeah, we'll take this on the plane. Good, wow. Mm. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> okay, okay. I think. Oh. I think we gotta just amp it up a notch. Now, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna pronounce all this stuff because any Norwegians who's watching this will laugh. <laughs> Rikika Bart. Rikika Barrett. Better than me. <laughs> Maybe I have no idea. Maybe I gotta write the whole time. All right, we gotta open this up. Mind you, mind you, explorers, this is seriously like some sort of like jelly fish. Like, <clears throat> the way the guy explained it to us was, imagine jello, like those fruit cups, but instead you got shrimp, egg, 
and other crap in there. Oh my god. Peas, carrots, shrimp. But yeah, it doesn't egg. it doesn't it's just jello. It's literally jello. Uh, we're gonna We're gonna eat this? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Dude, it's like almost as if it's like the fat. Oh right? Don't say it's, that. it's literally jello. That might be too big of a bite, bro. Well, I'm doing it for you guys. Oh my god! Whoa. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm out! Mm -mm. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> that was terrible. That was nasty. Dude, I don't even know how to explain what that was. Alright, we're gonna wash it down. Okay. With some urge. Now, we we covered this in Cody's, and what? But he has a different flavor. There's two flavors of urge. There's urge in this orangey one, and then there's urge in a green one. Now, what's cool about this is some of you guys may know this in the U.S. is that it used to be called Surge, made by the Coca-Cola family. Um, now they only make it here in Norway. Coca-Cola only makes it in Norway. And they so, dropped the S. Yeah, to call it Urge instead of Surge. Boom. Now I'm gonna purge. The urge. Oh, okay. Okay, we're gonna go right in on this. I I do like how it looks though. The, con the like the it, orangey. It bright. looks like. It looks like a drink you you get when you're like going. Playing to, Halo. Yeah, you're going to play like some video games all night with your yeah. friends. You yeah. get that and like a bunch of chips and stuff. Mm-hmm. That's that's pretty much it. Oh. So to be honest, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like an orangey Mountain Dew. Tell me, tell me what you Orange think. Orange Mountain Dew. Yeah, tell me what you think. Whoa. It's like a, a really unique soda. Yeah. Like Mountain Dew is kind of out there from all the other sodas. <clears throat> it is. Yeah, it's like a... I actually like it too, though. But it's right. kind of more mild. It's not, like Mountain Dew like kicks you in the face with the, 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 yeah. the caffeine and the carbonation. This is like more mellow, like... Which is ironic because of how crazy the design looks. Yeah, I know. But I think it's just the less sugar because of the rules here. Yeah. Yeah, speaking of that, so here in Norway, and actually mm. other countries as well, in the Euro European uh, Union, I guess, or whatever, the Euro countries, whatever. <laughs> yeah, Scandinavia and yeah. other Euro countries, yeah. European countries. Well, anyways, um, so here in Norway, they have sugar taxes. Yeah. And it's pretty much just to not only make more money, and just make up their own tax rules. We all, every country has their own weird freaking tax rules to make some money. But, mm -hmm. they actually want to make sure everyone eats healthy as well. So, and that's what they're all about here in Norway. Seriously, everywhere you go, you can get healthy food that tastes amazing. Even in, even in places that you didn't even think would exist. So, that's, it's cool. So, that's that. So, what's next? I want to dig into this. Now, let suck us. Lapskaus. Las Lapskaus. They said that this is a must get here in Norway and it's pretty much a beef stew. Now, people, they, they always make it at home, but you could buy it in the can and we decided to buy it in the can because we could literally just eat it already and we're not cooking it. We're just... Because we're at an Airbnb and we don't have all of the materials you really need. Alright. <laughs> it. I mean, it smells like beef stew. It smells like beef stew. I think it's beef stew, and we're only gonna take a bite out of it because it's we're eating it cold. You can you can eat it. Yeah, you can eat it. You can, can eat it. Yeah, you can because it's already cooked. I like it. I, I like beef stew. Dude, so. Is it really good? Yeah. This is like <laughs> we got like it's an apocalypse. Oh, I was gonna say the same thing. Yeah. It feels like we're in the apocalypse. We got these like low lights, and we're just like <laughs> eating out of a can. <laughs> what has my life come to? Yeah. What do you think, right? We gotta ration this. <laughs> Every yard we can take a bite. We gotta. It's, it's not bad. Yeah, it's good. That's good. That's so, so cool. We're apocalypse ready. Yeah. It is kind of weird that it's really cold though. Yeah. So I mean, there's that, but. You know, when I was it's a, good. Yeah, when I was a kid, I was eating ravioli, spaghetti yeah. out of the can, like Chef by the can. So I knew like we can eat anything out of a can. <laughs> we watched the movies. Yeah, we seen it in the movies. They it's just funny because like this light right here doesn't have a lampshade. It just feels like we're super like ghetto and like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. All right, the next thing I want to try here is called <sighs> Smash. They made a chocolate bar and they literally call it Smash. I thought this was really cool because the name 
so I grabbed it. Smash. Now it may contain peanuts, so I'm gonna take I a think bite it's out going of it. To. Smash app app app. I'm gonna take a bite out of this and see what it tastes like. I'm a big fan of chocolate, so it's really cool to try different chocolates. I'll let you know how it is, Cody. Thanks. Wow. So you got wafer in the middle, mm -hmm. like a crunchy wafer, almost like, almost like a popcorn taste. <laughs> and then you got like a like a a chocolate pudding, like really like a chocolate sauce in it. Man, you're missing out. That's like multiple layers. Yeah, no, like you no, got everything in that. Smash, a p a p a p a p, <laughs> tastes good. Smash up, 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 up. <laughs> Wow, yeah, this is really good. That's funny. Hmm. So I could get the EpiPen, just be like, "All right, let's do it." Yeah. <laughs> you put yourself in, into it and yeah. eat it. I don't think there's any penis in it, but just to make sure. I'm still waiting on the day that we do one of these, and I literally have to be like, "Well, shit, this is it." <laughs> and you're gonna keep that, going. When that day comes, that's gonna be my thumbnail. It's literally me <laughs> stabbing my leg oh my while eating like something. I like that. One day. Okay, so what's next? Brown cheese, must get in Norway. Every morning, everyone's snacking on this. Yeah. Caviar. This is our meal. We need this now. What is caviar? Do you know? Mm, some kind of like fish egg, I believe. Fish. Yeah, it's like Really? Fish they said that they... Now, okay, I got that. And then we got the bread that they put on it a lot. So this was also a must get. All these things was a must. And yeah, we decided so to... It's like a meal kind of like. You yeah. put all this together. Yeah. That's what we were told. They say to put mayonnaise on it, but I didn't want the mayonnaise. I just wanted to try the unique stuff that I don't get to try for it. Now, I don't want to try the caviar just yet. Save my stomach a bit. I do want to try... But it's weird that it's in a toothpaste bottle. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That is kind of weird, actually. <laughs> like, it's... Oh, uh, I lost the cap. You need the Oh, cap. no, there's something else we had, too. I forgot all about it. The pride and joy. That. The liver. Yeah, the... Levy Postel. Levy Postel. And as a, the girl, she looks like she really likes this stuff. Like, her eyes are just wide open, almost like she's being hypnotized. And they have this again, but in a guy version. Like, and the, and the boy looks like he's being hypnotized, too. <laughs> so, I don't know what's going on here. Oh, shit. But you know what? Actually, you know what's... What the heck? Uh, Does this taste nasty? It well, it's already open. It let's just, smells bad. Does it? Let's just, let's just drop it on. Drop it on. Okay. All right, we have we're trying the caviar toothpaste. Put some toothpaste on mine, bro. Okay. You ready? <laughs> Yo, it's I'm not... getting a cheesy bacon taste. Oh, the aftertaste. now the aftertaste. Yo, the aftertaste. At, <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> at the same time. Oh, bro. I Yo, hate the fish taste. Yo, we could not have acted that out. That was pure, like, our eyes lit up. We completely tasted this, like, raw fish taste. And it, it really does come after. At first, I'm like, wow, this is a cheesy bacon. Now, the aftertaste hit us hard like a truck, dude. Tastes like straight up, like, fish. That is weird. Wow, it's a really strong taste of fish. It's still in my mouth lingering. Dude, that was awesome. That was awesome that we had like this crazy reaction together because that was really weird. Could not have even acted that out, right? That was so good. Now my stomach's taking a lot of damage, but we have to From try all this stuff we yeah, can try. I know, the hypnotized girl, Levy Postel. Okay. Now, okay, this stuff looks gross. Gr gross. I don't know, it looks like. I think it's liver. I don't know what it is. Let's try it on a complete. Oh yeah, it's definitely liver. Liver? Mm-hmm. What do you mean liver? Like, like, l liver. liver. You sure? Yeah. Some people get liver sandwiches. I don't want too much because I don't even know if I like liver. Are you, are you, do are you going in with me? I'm gonna have to. <laughs> I know I'm gonna, ah, uh, geez. Dude, a lot of people eat it though. Like a lot. Every time I go to a grocery store in Norway, everyone's picking up this stuff. Everyone's picking up their liver. Yeah, it's liver. Oh man, I could taste like the iron. Oh, oh my god! Taste the liver. <laughs> oh my god, I hate this stuff. 
Have you ever had liver before? No, I don't know. I knew it was gonna taste bad. Oh my god, dude. Oh, right. Jesus Christ. I just need a permanent bag. <laughs> oh my god, it hurts my stomach. You keep swallowing all these things. I'm trying to get it out of my mouth, man. I have two more drinks we have to try. I got, oh my god. Wow. Man, I don't think I could. Uh, man, my stomach really hurts now. All right, Solo Super. This Solo drink has like seven different flavors, maybe even more orange, gray, I don't know, blue for all I know. But it's pretty much, I almost like, maybe like a ca carbonated sugary water, maybe? I don't know. Could be a, a, a soda. Wait. Oh, it's about to blow. Come on, baby. It's about to blow! Solo. The last one we tried was orange. All right. Well, this, dude, like, I'm like sweating because of how nasty it was. It's making my heart rate race. I think just the combination of all these different foods isn't supposed to be Wow, cooking. dude. Yeah, you're right. That tastes really good. It's really strawberry. strong star strawberry flavor, yeah. Oh, uh, it's very powerful. Yeah. On a hot day, everybody would be snacking on the Solo. <laughs> <laughs> There's not many hot days here in Oslo, except yeah. for this week. Yeah, yeah, speaking of that, guys, uh, anyone who's watching my video that actually lives in uh, Norway, or near the southern area, um, it's been record-breaking hot apparently, and it has never been this hot here. Yeah. So, first day we get here in this Airbnb, we are dying, it's like a sauna, we're sweating, and we're like, why is not the AC working? Turns <laughs> out, there's just no ACs in any hotel, any Airbnb, any house at all in Norway. No one puts them in because they don't need it. So it's so hot, everyone's hot here, everyone's complaining. <laughs> we literally had to go down to the company that is renting this Airbnb and ask him for a fan. Yeah. And this guy who works there, he's really nice, he took it off of his desk for us and he's like, I'm sorry guys, it's never this hot in Oslo. Yeah. I was like, oh, thank you man. It was super nice. And we're literally sweating right now. Yeah, making this. So, everyone knows, we're taking, we got a brick. A brown cheese here. You can't get it any smaller than that. Yeah, and it's called like Brunos, Bronos, or something Brunos. like that. Yeah, cheese. So, and this is again must get here. Put it on something, but yeah. I'm sick of putting it on. Yeah, I don't want to put it on the bread I, I, anymore. I just, I'm just gonna eat it. Yeah, I'm gonna eat. Let's eat the cheese. Maybe it's not a good idea, only because it's thick as hell. I'm getting a cheesy caramel taste. It's really weird. <laughs> It's really thick and pasty. It's really different. I mean, it's not bad, but it's just like, I see, you're not supposed to eat it alone. Yeah, we're supposed to eat it with the bread, but. I'm so sick of that bread. Yeah. Now, okay, I've had it. It's like cheesy caramel. Literally. And that's why it sticks to your, your teeth. Yeah, you definitely get a strong, like, pick, just literally take caramel and cheese. But it's cool because, like, again, I never would have had anything like that unless I came to Norway. Let's try to pronounce it. <laughs> it's a long name. Melkes Jokolad. Melkes Jokolad. Yeah, that's pretty pretty much what I would say. Yeah, so this is literally like uh, milk chocolate, uh, and but it's the most uh, common here super in Norway. Super popular. Yeah, everyone's getting it, and we've had it already, and it is super freaking good. But we bought it again for the video. For the video. <laughs> and because we, we wanted, wanted more. <laughs> we wanted more. Yeah. It's literally so hot in here that this chocolate's actually melting. It's true. You can see this. It's literally melting because yeah. it's so warm in here. I'm really sweating right now making this video. I but love it. We got milk. Amazing taste. It's literally the best chocolate mm. I think so good. they make here. We have mm. one more thing here now. Mm hmm. One more thing. Oh, wait. I forgot. We have the extra drink. Right here. Mmm. Now this drink is special. The story. Yeah. So it's called, how do you say it? Epslang? Eplislang. Eplislang. Now here in Oslo, this is a, an Oslo drink. So you can only get it here in Oslo. And what it is, it's water and apples. It's just put together. It's, it's like some sort of like pasteurized um, apple drink. But the apples are, it's all 100% real apples inside this drink. And what the guy actually say about this story? And the reason is it's a unique. The story. reason it's special is because they take criminals and like people who have gone to jail, and they make them pick apples. <laughs> so they pick apples 
from people's backyards. I'm guessing. Yeah, that's what he legally, said. Yeah. or if they just I don't know if they steal them. That's why they get criminals. But <laughs> somehow they gather a bunch of. He's it, the way he said it was really weird too. Yeah. But yeah, they just it's like a reformant program. Yeah. You know, take criminals, make them pick apples, and you get a drink. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you, you can't say any better myself. <laughs> but that's why we got it because of that, and it's literally. again, it's 100% pure apple juice. He literally sold us on the backstory. Wow, that's is it good? Yeah, it's strong. What do you think? It strongly tastes the apple, right? It's like super concentrated. Yeah. Wow. He did say it was just like straight apple juice. Yeah. I'm guessing they literally took apples and just like, there's probably not even any water in here. It's it might just, just straight apple blended juice. apple. That's really good. It's really, really strong. The store behind it was good. I was like, I definitely want to try something that's just straight Oslo. And Whew. we have one last thing here. Whew. Like, mind you, I'm so glad we went to the gym this morning before we even made this video. I don't even feel good. <laughs> yeah, we don't feel good. Now, here is a thing that's very typical. It's like a, what is they, what are they, again, what do they call this again, Cody? Thank God you're here. Oh, it was like a oh, something with a skull. In yeah, the and they sell it at 7-Elevens markets everywhere in the morning. Everyone eats yeah. it. It's just a really, it's just a Danish with Super with coconut typical. coconut on it, with something yellow in the middle though. That's why I don't. They actually said it was van like a vanilla um, cream, but she said it was yellow for some reason. All right, well you know, what? let me take a bite out of it. Funny enough. I actually didn't eat this the whole trip here just to try it on this. Really? Video. That's good. Yeah. So, try it. There is a vanilla cream in the middle that is yellow for some reason. And it is, yeah, it's coconut and it's bread. But everyone gets this here. This is hugely popular. The cream is really good. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like a, like a Boston cream donut with coconut. That's what I think it is. Yeah. Really good. And there is more that they eat here. They have um, cinnamon uh, buns are really popular here. Just as popular as that. Mm -hmm. They really like eating but I feel those. like if you get the right one at this place called Spar, it is the best cinnamon bun you'll ever have. Better than Cinnabon. Spar well, is good. It, oh, the grocery stores here are Co-op, Joker, Extra, Spar, Rema 1000, the best one. The way it's actually said though, is called Rema? Irema Tusen. Yeah. Which means, Tusen means a thousand. Yeah. But we, we say Rema 1000 and everyone laughs at us. Yeah, it's funny. It's, but yeah. Yeah, it's funny because like, yo, you, you, where's the Rema 1000? Like, what's that? Yeah, they're like, what's Rema 1000? It's literally, literally spelled Rema 1000, but they just say it differently. It's R-E-M-A 1000. But they just say it differently for some reason, but that's just how it is. Yeah. Um, guys, this is it. We just finished two food videos today. And we worked oh, out at the cool. gym, and, and that was our day here in Oslo. Like we're so, like I said, we're so burnt out. This is it. We're gonna head home, chill. Um, future plans coming up. Uh, new series. I'm gonna do some more abandoned, and don't know where I'm going next. <laughs> but, but we have the exploring crew bus. That is 100. percent We we don't know what we're doing with it. We don't know how it's gonna go or what's gonna happen. But we have the bus. I mean, and we're gonna explore. Yeah, yeah. In the bus. Make cave exploring USA Canada trip series. Who knows what's gonna happen? Something's gonna go down. Or we're gonna take our bus and go straight to Alaska. We could go straight down to Peru. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll have to find out. Yeah, we don't That's know. That's on what, the next episode. Yeah. So, yeah, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. Just get out to explore. And until next time, also check out Cody's video in the <laughs> description below. <laughs> this, this whole ending is not the usual ending because usually like, all right, rise above explorers, just got to explore. Peace and thanks for watching. You know, something like that. But I, I'm done. I'm done. This is when you know I had enough. I'm at my breaking point. Ah! <laughs> I need a break. There's too much videos and editing going on. I can't do it no more. It's been super fun though. Seriously, it's just been a crazy trip. I can keep talking. I can talk all day. <laughs> So what's going on in your life, Josh? Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I can talk all day. There's always something in my head that's always going. I can keep talking. But I just, I really did like Norway. It was just, seriously, the most expensive country. And you want to know something? This was the most expensive country, like, in the most money I've ever spent traveling, ever. I've been to so many countries, and I spent Same. more money here than I did in any trip I've ever been on. I want you guys to guys know that, because yeah. 
That's one thing you have to know about Norway before coming. Like, it's so beautiful. Everyone should come here. Everyone has to see Oslo because it is the best city and I would live here, really. It's just, just be ready to spend a lot of money. There's no way out of it. There's no way. Even the cheapest things you're paying for. Like, my water is always $3 no matter what. It's, unless you want the carbonated water, then you're paying like $2.40. $2 Okay, wow, I gotta work out now. <laughs> I know. I feel so bad right now. Oh my god, me I don't too. feel good. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, I'm out. Thanks, seriously, thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. And merch will start coming out again soon. I know everybody, buddy, has been asking about that. I'm gonna make a video, an update, an update on so much actually, so I can do a separate video on what's on my mind. So I'm ending it here for real. Peace. <laughs>